Alex, you having fun? I am having a blast here. And I am excited to see Angelico and Jack Evans. You know, new guys in terms of the U.S. wrestling scene. I mean, Jack Evans has been around for a while, but Angelico, world traveler. You know, they've been a big stars in AAA. Ah, they were, they were the, uh, the longest reigning AAA tag team champions, 2013 to 2016. Getting their act back together against Trent and Chucky e. T, the best friends. And their opponents had a combined weight of 375 pounds. The team of Jack Evans and Angelico. And Helico, a man from South Africa, started his wrestling career there, emigrated to Spain, began wrestling there, met Ultimo Dragon, fell in love with the Lucha Libre style, then moved to Mexico. Training under Negro Navarro, learning the Yave technique along with the high flying, becoming a complete wrestler. And Jack Evans from the heavens, one of the premier high flyers in professional wrestling today. You know, Jim, it's interesting as well with Chucky e. T and Trent, they talk their way onto the main car. They had had issued, so they were furious at being put in the Casino Battle Royale originally. In fact, even crossed the line on being the Elite.com series with the, with the Young Bucks. They went ahead and said, look, we're going we're gonna to hurt your family if we don't get put on the main shows. A little bit of tongue-in-cheek, but they did. But they had to face on Helico and Jack Evans, a tall order for the best friends. Yeah, best friends talking their way into one hell of a test here in the first, uh, the first the tag team match, team kicking I've off the tag team division life. here in All Elite Wrestling. The Young Bucks have promised something of a tag team revival, and it kicks off here tonight at Double or Nothing. Can't, can't wait to see the evolution of tag team wrestling again, and uh, we're very optimistic that that metamorphosis is going to occur right here in AEW. Right, and we're talking too, also, as you mentioned earlier on in the show, 10 counts now when you break, when you make a tag, you have a count of 10 to get in and out of the ring, not a count of five, count of 10, and it will be enforced. If it's enforced and it's real, I love it. I love it because it's it's more realistic, it's more logical. Getting out of the ring in five count is become old hat. And, and for tag teams, too many moving parts. All right, gentlemen, here we go. This is would you say Excalibur, these styles are diverse, these two teams? Oh definitely. Trent very much wrestling the heavyweight style, a lot of power attacks. I mean he he did graduate from the junior heavyweight division to the heavyweight division and in doing so implemented a lot of power attacks but he has no shortage of experience facing off against high flyers like jack evans himself and look at those muscles sue's favorite son trent showing off his physique you know how relaxed trent was last night he slept for 12 straight hours that's how relaxed he was i mean so we talk about confidence coming into this match and he should be chucky e. t longtime partner of his they know what each other's gonna do to achieve I love Taylor's shoes of Chuck Taylor All-Star. <laughs> that was a nice drop kick. This kid's got really good athleticism, good spring in his leg. We've seen that a lot in this show. This at really athletic son of a guns that are willing to take amazing risks. Yeah, the best friends. Give it all! Almost gave the people what they wanted. They just wanted a hug, folks. That's all. But Angelico and Jack Evans had different ideas. Bryce Remsburg drawing the duty for this match as the official. I think that uh, Angelico and Jack Evans are anti-Huggites. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bryce Remsburg trying to enforce the 10 count. Angelico and Evans double hammer throw into the corner. Angelico sending Evans in. Backhand spring elbow. Evans lands on his feet on the floor. Evans is like an angry wasp. Oh, from the heavens he with comes. A, with a deadly stinger. He's got that great elevation. The one thing about Evans, no matter where you see him compete or when you saw him compete last, he has exactly zero level of fear. Well, I mean, he, he thinks he's 240. Yeah, he, I mean, and he talks like he's 350 and the baddest man in the room. You train under Stu Hart and get stretched and see how you feel. You do, that's about the scariest thing you're going to face. I made a trip down the dungeon one time. Soul butt hook kick combination from Evans and that helico. Oh, oh, oh my God. Just destroying the face of Trent with that running kick. And now, the 10 of 450 splash, two. 
Excalibur, is this is tag team wrestling like riding a bike in a way? Because Trent and Chucky e. T have been performing together as a team, you know, pretty frequently as of late. Not so much for Angelico and Jack Evans, but they look like they haven't skipped a beat. Yeah, they are former AAA tag team champions. The current champions, the Young Bucks, will be facing off against the Lucha Brothers later tonight on the show. But they are one of the top teams. Well, actually, they were one of the top teams. Cover. Lateral press. And both men going their separate ways, but you're right. They got right back on the bicycle, and it looks like they haven't messed, missed a step. Now, waist lock. Applied by Angelico. Angelico, no shortage of power on his end. A big ragey kid in South Africa in Johannesburg. Rip cords Trent out. And there we see the Yave influence. That Mexican submission style. He has that left arm of Trent captured and reaches across the body to stretch the leg of Trent just putting him in a very precarious position. Chuck Taylor deciding whether he needs to intervene, and he does to break up. The break up the submission and keep his partner alive in this match. Taylor saved the day there, but uh, is it going to be enough? Because right now, quite frankly, Angelico and Jack Evans are ahead on points. Oh, definitely, and you can see Trent in a bad way. You written all over his face. It's almost as if somebody on either team just waiting to hit, hitting, waiting to hit excuse me, that big move. That one big dynamic move in this thing quickly oh. and suddenly. Double boots up by Trent taking a helico off his feet. Now the window has opened. He needs to make the tag out to Chuck Taylor, but Chuck very slow to get up on the apron and Jack Evans making it even harder. See, Jack Evans can utilize that count too. He's got, ten, he's got a 10 count to get out of there. And Evans not intimidated by the official, not intimidated by the stripes here in AEW. He will fight anybody and everybody if given half a provocation. Evans in legal tag, and Helico made the tag. Again, here's that 10 second rule. And Helico made the tag. Again, here's that 10 second rule being in the place, upside down, and Beretta ends up in a very precarious spot, straddling the steel. Evans charging in, but oh, the desperation move from Trent taking Evans off his feet. Thunderous clothesline by Beretta. Those long arms, he popped his hips. He has a leverage advantage, and it showed off there. And Chuck using that lengthy body, that tag, that long reach makes the tag. Now Lariat takes down Evans. A back elbow takes him off his feet once again. And the agility of Taylor on display. Chuck Taylor feeling pretty good about himself. Yeah, big dog feasting right now. But Ooh. and Helico oh, what a lift. there with it. Just starts him with that left jab. Double Irish whip into the corner. By Evans and Helico. Smart move by oh! Taylor is just avoiding bullets, dodging bullets one after another. The agility of Taylor on display. Chuck Taylor feeling pretty good about himself. Yeah, big dog feasting right now. But Ooh. and Helico. Oh, what a lift. There with it, just starts him with that left jab. Double Irish whip into the corner by Evans and Angelico. Smart move by oh! Taylor is just avoiding bullets, dodging bullets one after another. He's done the deal, the Falcon Arrow. Nobody kicks out of the Falcon Arrow. Oh, Jack oh. Evans kicked out of the Falcon Arrow. <laughs> That's what he's hey. It must be uh, unanimous. Nobody kicks out of the Falcon Arrow, but. Apparently, Jack Evans Jack does. Evans. Chopped to the chest from Chuck Taylor. Chuck sending him across the ring. Charging in. Evans, the Bandera, sends Chuck E.T. up and over the top. Guillotine them. Chuck drops to the floor. Ducks under Angelico. Now, standing slice bread on the outside. Wow. That is a situation there where Angelico is probably done for Taylor. Chuck sending him across the ring, charging in. Evans, the Bandera sends Chuck E.T. up and over the top. Guillotine them. Chuck drops to the floor, ducks under Angelico. Now, standing slice bread on the outside. Wow. That is a situation there where Angelico is probably done for the night. Oh! 
Right to the back of the head. Right roundhouse and E. T. Diving footstops across the spine of Angelico. Trent coming in. Launches off the top. DDT. Moretta wow. asserting himself, and he's not the legal man, by the way. He's oh, Chucky e. T. Diving footstops. It matters of the near far leg hook. Shoulders are down. Oh. And uh, Jar and Jack Evans there. Tougher than two dollar stake, just refusing to quit, to give up. The smallest dog in this fight just keeps on fighting. Bryce Remsburg had his eyes laser focused on the shoulders of Jack Evans. He saw the kick out. I wouldn't have believed it if he didn't say so. You're talking about the Bryce Remsburg, right? The Bryce Remsburg. Jack Evans in a headstand, fighting his way out from a awkward situation. Back flipping kick, coming down on the crown of the head of Trent. We're talking about the accuracy. Delivering that bow, Alex, with that kind of accuracy is a skill set. You're right, but listen, he's in trouble because on Helico, not around to help him. Oh. And even though he got a little momentum, Jack Evans now flat on his back, and the end could be drawing near. Now you find out how Beretta and, and Taylor can finish this oh, thing. Soul food into the half and half, and Helico just dumped on his head. He's got to be a non factor for the rest of this match, and the best friends. Emotional for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna for Clark. Alice here. Taylor with Jack Evans up on the crucifix. Oh. Soul food into the half and half. And Helico just dumped on his head. He's got to be a non factor for the rest of this match. And the best friends. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Lord. It's emotional for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna for Clark. Alice here. Clark. Taylor with Jack Evans up on the crucifix oh. into the crusher. Oh, what timing. What expert One, timing. Two. No. Evans tougher than a 50 cent stake. <laughs> and those blue eyes are just rolling around in his head, right? Yeah, like marbles. Or agates, as they would say back in the day, right? <laughs> Alex, you're smarter than all of us. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll look that agate thing up. Oh, get a minute. Chucky e. T swept off the apron by Angelico. Trent gets oh. a reverse Yoshi Tonic. You know, these Evans, I'll tell you something. Evans and Angelico oh. are going to win this thing. Axe kick to the back of the head. Evans launching off the back. Corkscrew knee to Trent. Murder's been hit in the head about 10 times. How the hell could it continue? And look at this. Right down the chest cavity. Ref down. Two. And somehow, some way, Beretta kicked out. I, I don't know if it's, sometimes discretion can be the better part of Valor, but I get the will to compete, especially on the first show ever from AEW. Yeah, Trent definitely not thinking about the future. He is locked in the moment. Instinct alone allowed him to kick out of that. And now Angelico setting up Trent in the corner. Jack likes to launch off his uh, his opponent's back. Oh, off the back to the outside! What a suicide, suicidal move by Jack Evans. Angelico ran to the corner. Trent on roller skates in the center of the ring. Trent charging out. Oh, no! Big oh, knee. Right into that knee. The big knee got in. The, the left knee found its home. Exactly, exactly where Angelico wanted it to be. He snaked it through the arms of Trent and just drove it into the point of his jaw. Now up on the shoulders, the crucifix. Angelico! Crucifix! Oh. Bob on the corner! And Jack Evans had it up top! Up top! Bad news coming! Six! Dirty splash! Ledger oh. hook! Ledger oh. hook! No. Chucky T. Chucky T interrupts the proceedings. This match will continue. And the only reason it will is because Chucky T intervened. At this pace, I don't know how long it's going to continue. This is unbelievable action here in AEW. We do have 30 minute time limits. We'll let you know if we start approaching that. But right now, with Jack Evans with the front chance reapplied, Trent rolls him up. Oh, nice One, counter. Good two. Counter. And Helico! Oh. Inside cradle. 
Nicely done, very opportunistic counter. And Chuck Chuck Taylor grabbing the leg of an helico. Oh, right, oh, right hook there. Hard right, right to the ear. Screw free for delivery. Oh. If, that, if that didn't, that shot to the head will. That's what I'm saying about Beretta. In fact, just think back in this match of how many times he's been hammered in the head. At some point, you just don't jump back into the game. Gentlemen, by the way, this it hasn't just awesome. dawned on me. The first awesome. official tag team match here in All Elite Wrestling. Oh, and Helico, nobody home. Went for the Pescado on the floor. Chuck oh. Taylor coming in. He's got Evans up on the shoulders. Beretta, up, top row. Doomsday, sexy Chucky knee. Chuck Taylor. So back on a low crashing down on an Helico. Taylor Kidd is fearless, no doubt about that. But they haven't won it yet. Trent pulling Evans up, thinking Crunchy, thinking it. And Taylor with the stop oh. tag team Crunchy! Yes, it's done! The winners of this match, Trent Beretta, Chuck Taylor, the best friend!